February 6th, 2017. This is Me the People Perspectives with an update regarding the unfortunate mishap that happened at the sperm bank in Augusta, Georgia. This time it's coming from NBC News and they're saying that uh, federal safety officials are now investigating that liquid nitrogen mishap. Richmond County Sergeant Greg Meager was 57 years old when he died. He had survived being shot in the face during a drug raid more than a decade ago. On Sunday afternoon, he was part of a team called to the Zytex storage facility there in Augusta after a report of a liquid nitrogen pressure surge. Meager went inside the building where he was apparently overcome. Firefighters pulled him out, but he could not be saved. The firefighters also rescued a female employee found on the property. She survived. So apparently this brave sheriff deputy did not die in vain. Three other deputies who responded also um, complained of difficulty breathing, but as I stated earlier, they recovered. Liquid nitrogen can freeze objects on contact. Okay, it can vaporize and rapidly expand at room temperature. So it displaces oxygen in poorly ventilated spaces. Hazmat teams shut off the liquid nitrogen tanks at the facility, but Zytex said there was no damage to any of the tissue stored there. So y'all don't be worried about your sperm. Okay, it's fine. They just had a little accident where a decorated sheriff's deputy gave his life. They are saying that their thoughts and prayers are going out to the family and friends of Sergeant Greg Meager, his fellow deputies, and their injured employee. The company said in a formal statement, Occupational Safety and Health Administration said, it had opened a probe, no pun intended, and had investigators on site Monday. So, that being said, this is me, the People Perspectives. Break this news.